Ping. Hot and sour soup. Ping. Don't you like my voice? Will you please just relax? I sing when I'm worried. And I am worried about Poe. You know, a wise goose once told me, worrying doesn't make the broth boil any quicker. Sometimes a wise goose just can't help himself, and he worries. He worries! Well, why don't we take turns worrying? Hey, that's a good idea, Lee. You can have the next 30 miles, and I'll take what's left over until we find Poe. Yeah, that seems like a fair trade. Ah. Hey. Hi, I'm Sean Sexton. I'm the head of character animation on Kung Fu Panda 4, and today we are going to draw Poe. The Kung Fu Panda! The first thing we want to do when we're drawing Poe is the head. I'm going to draw a big circle. And it's really not a circle. It's more of a ball shape. And then I'm going to draw a guideline over the ball that kind of shows the depth of it. And then we're just going to draw a couple of circles on there to rough in where the eyes are going to eventually go. Next, I'm going to put a little circle in for Poe's nose, which is going to go right below that center line. And then I'm going to rough in a smile. Woohoo! Nice! Next, I want to figure out the body, going from the head all the way down, kind of where his butt is. This is a really big belly, because he loves his dumplings. One of everything is my go-to order. We're going to put him in a kung fu pose. We'll have one arm back. If you just draw a ball shape for where the hand is going to go, it's a good guide that you can add detail to later. We started with a ball shape for his head. The top of it, it's a little flatter, a slight angle on this on the left side, and then the screen right side, I'm going to make it, again, a little angled. He has these wraps around his ankle and his feet. OK, big guy, we're really going to have to wrap this up. There you have it. Oh. Hey, can I get one of those in a wallet size? Hi, I'm Ludo Boisho. I was a supervising animator on Kung Fu Panda 4, and I'm going to show you how to draw the chameleon. The Empress of Disguise, capable of taking any form, mimicking any shape. We're going to start the full body, so I'm going to place the head right at the top of the sheet. We want to draw a simple circle high on the page. And then we're going to draw two smaller spheres on each side of that bigger sphere that represents the skull, basically. And then the eyes are very, very simple circles with the lids overlapping and then the iris in the middle. And then I'm going to do an S shape from the nose to the top of that. Then she has those like very, very wide cheeks. Usually she has that like very evil smile. I can actually just go around and really define the side of her face. So S shape through the head to the ground. So now I have, I have everything that makes her silhouette work. I'm going to take the, the height of the dress and right in the middle, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little, a little marker, which is going to be the bottom of the sleeves. We have that, that circle that defines the chest. I'm going to do two others for the shoulders, left and right. And these are going to be used to, to kind of create the arms. She has spikes and decorations around her horn, her neck, and then her brows, and the crown as well. The crown, meaning the, the little horn that she has, they are more like little balls of uh, decoration. And then the ones behind the neck are the same ones that are on the horn. The power, the precision. And yeah, yeah that's it for the camera. And I hope you had a great time, and uh, I'm excited to see your drawings. Chop, chop. We have a spirit realm to plunder. Hi, I'm Patrick Giusiano. I'm an animation supervisor on Kung Fu Panda 4, and I'm going to teach you how to draw Jen. It's me. It's obviously, it's, it's me. I'm in, the, I'm, in, I'm in the know. OK, so we're going to try to start with doing a simple line. That's going to be the line of action. You can then draw a circle for the head. She has a fairly big head, and she has a smaller body. So we're going to do some kind of karate pose. So now you have like the places of the chest, the hand, and the face. So the tail is just going to follow this S shape we created. You have the overall pose here. Let's keep moving. Now you're going to try to work more on the face. We're going to do a hexagon inside this circle. Draw the ears. Do a little notch here. So it's like the temple. I like to have like a bit of frown. Like, she's a bit sly. Let's just say, a face like mine is hard to forget. Then you need to create the pupils, like it's just a simple circle and the lids. And then she has a little bit of fur on top of her head here. And then the paws, you need to draw these half circles, kind of the Kung Fu Panda style. We're going to work on the tail. Just add some fur to it. 
I think you're good. I love that for you. That's it. You have Jen. Catch you later, Panda.